Okay, welcome to our next topic in Unit 7. We've been working on systems of equations, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be graphing systems. That means we're going to be taking the equations in a system of equations, and we're going to graph each of the equations to try to solve the system. This will start to make sense as we look at a couple of examples, so let's jump right into it. Here's a system of equations. x plus y equals 4 and y equals 3x. Spoiler alert, I'm going to go ahead and give you the solution before we even solve this. Maybe you can actually even figure this one out. If x plus y equals 4, you have to think of two numbers that add up to 4, but since y equals 3x, one of the two numbers has to be triple the other. Well, 1 and 3 are the two numbers that you're going to have here. Now, we're just going to kind of remember that that's the solution, but I'm going to show you how you could figure that out without having to just figure it out in your head. And we're going to figure it out using the graphing method. Okay, The graphing method is going to ask you to recall the equation y equals mx plus b. This is called slope-intercept form, and we talked about this earlier in the year. So if you need to go back and re-watch a video on y equals mx plus b, or slope-intercept in form, that might be helpful if you find this video a little bit confusing. Remember, y equals mx b gives you the slope of a line and the y-intercept of the line. So whatever number is in front of the x, that's the slope, and whatever number is in that b position is where the line crosses the y-axis. So for this equation up here, y equals 3x, the slope of that line would be 3. The y-intercept of that line would be, well, there is no b value, so the y-intercept is 0. Now we can use that information to graph this equation, y equals 3x. And we're going to start at 0 because that's where the y-intercept is. And we're going to count our slope 3 over 1 because isn't 3 equal to 3 over 1? Yep. Boom. Remember how easy it is to graph a line once you know the slope and the intercept? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with this equation. Okay, But before we can graph this equation, we have to put that equation in y equals mx plus b form, meaning we have to get y by itself. If we want to get this y by itself, I've got to get rid of that x. And to get rid of that x, I'm going to have to do x minus x so that those cancel out and leave my y all by itself. Of course, I can't just take away x from the left side of the equation without taking away x from the right side of the equation. So now I have y equals 4 minus x. Or you could say y equals negative x plus 4. Either way, it's a positive 4, right? And it's a negative x. Now, the important thing here is that you see what the slope and the y-intercept are here. Remember, the slope is the part that comes in front of the x. So in this case, that's like negative 1 here or negative 1 here. So for this line, my slope is negative 1, or negative 1 over 1 if I wanted to make it a fraction or a ratio for my rise and run. My y-intercept here is positive 4. That means I'm going to start this line right here at 4. But then my slope is going to go down 1 over 1, and I'm going to have another dot right here, and down 1 over 1, and I'm going to have another dot right here, 
and eventually you'll be able to see that this equation here turns into this line. Again, if none of that made sense, go back and rewatch the video on slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, or look at your notes. Okay, so we had these two lines. Notice they intersect at a certain point, and the point where they intersect happens to be 1 comma 3 which happened to also be the solution of our equation. And that's because the solution to a system of equations is always the point where the two lines cross. So that means we can solve a system of equations just by graphing the two equations and then seeing where they intersect. So you don't always have to sit there and try to come up with some kind of a guess and check method in order to find the solution of a system of equations. And if you didn't like the substitution method, you can use the graphing method to solve a system. All you have to do is take the two equations, right, turn them into two lines on a graph, and see where those two lines intersect, and the coordinates of that will tell you what the solution is to your system of equations. Okay, I'm going to have you try this on our practice problem. Notice this is just practice problem, not practice problem number one or number two. This is the only practice problem I want you to try. y equals 1 half x minus 1 and y equals negative x plus 2. I'm even going to be so kind and generous that I'm going to tell you that the slope of this is 1 over 2. That means it's going to go up 1 over 2. And the slope of this is negative 1. That means it's going to go down 1 over 1. And since I'm being nice already, this is going to have a y-intercept at negative 1. That means when you make your graph, this line is going to cross at negative 1. So you can put a dot right there. Now, this one is going to have a y-intercept at positive 2. Okay, so keeping that in mind, I want you to solve this system by graphing. That means you're going to have to see where those two lines intersect each other and tell me the coordinates of that point and you'll know what the solution to this system is. Okay, I'm going to give you one more example to look at just in case you want to see a little bit more. If you feel like you already get this, that's fine, you can skip this example, but you might want to watch for a second because there's something a little bit more complicated about this. Okay, on this problem, graphing the second equation here is pretty easy because it crosses the y-axis at negative 2 and it has a slope of 1 half, which means it goes up 1 over 2. So it's going to go up 1 over 2, and you're going to have another dot, and it's going to go up 1 over 2, and you're going to have another dot, so you can kind of see where that line goes. The reason that first one was easy is because the y was already by itself. This was already in slope-intercept form. This equation, on the other hand, is not in slope-intercept form the y is not by itself. So we're going to have to get the y by itself, which means we're going to have to get rid of that 4 and we're going to have to get rid of that 3x in order to get y by itself. First we're going to do this. We're going to do minus 3x so that 3x minus 3x cancels 
and we don't quite have y by itself yet, but at least we have it down to 4y. Of course, we did that on the left, so we have to do that on the right. Sorry, minus 3x minus 3x. So now I have 4y equals 8 minus 3x. But I still don't have the y by itself, so I have to divide by 4, because 4 divided by 4 cancels and gives me y by itself like I want it. Since I divided the left side of this equation by 4, I've got to divide every piece by 4. Now, that means I've got to divide the 8 by 4 and divide the minus 3x by 4. That means over here I'm going to have y equals 8 divided by 4, which is 2, and huh, negative 3 divided by 4, that doesn't really work, but can I just write it as 3 divided by 4, like that? Yeah, because you know what? Actually, that's kind of how we want it, because this is our slope, and slope is supposed to be a fraction. So the slope of this line is negative 3 fourths, and the y-intercept of this line is 2. Now wait, how come the slope was the negative 3 fourths and not the 2? Remember, the slope is always the part that comes in front of the x. Okay, That's where we got that number from. So then how do I graph this equation? I graph it by using the slope and the y-intercept. I know this equation crosses the y-axis at 2, because that's what this right here tells me. I also know that it's going to go down 3 over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So where do they cross each other? It looks like the solution to this equation is right here where those two lines cross, and I think that is going to be 3 comma 0. I think that's the solution to this system of equations. Okay. Maybe this was your favorite way of solving a system of equations, and maybe not. Either way, I just want you to know that when you graph two lines, wherever they cross, that's the solution. And that's one more way of solving a system of equations. All right, we'll practice that some more in class tomorrow. Later.